Hey y'all. It is time to spend another weekend with yes. the hallway. Yep. Just hanging out. We are out here at Lost Oak Winery in Burleson, Texas, just yep. listening to some music. We used to come out here. Well, we still come out here a lot, but they used to have Motown night like twice every summer. But um, since before the pandemic, it's like they really and had, it, had it for a while. So this is our first time in a couple of years. So we are super excited. The band just got started. The food trucks are out here. And we are just going to have a relaxing, another relaxing laid back weekend. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Relaxing outdoors. Man, it feels good out here. It does. So it's um, 103 degrees here today. We're in the shade. Right, and that's what I was just getting ready to tell them. So I know we probably already shared with y'all a million times that I'm directionally challenged, and I'm also sunnerly challenged. I never know where the sun is. Like, if it's hot, it's just hot. So Wallace came ahead of me. Um, we got here together, but he walked ahead of me because I was still fidgeting around in the car, and he found us a spot. And they have, like, these covered areas, which um, I'll get some shots, um, do some be real. But... Um, I was like, why is he all the way out there? He's not under any of the covered areas. But then I thought, you know what? Why am I even second guessing it? It looks crazy to me, but it's probably the coolest spot there is. And it is because, you know, Mr. Jethro this. Bodine, Mr. John Henry, Mr. Whatever. I know how to make this work. He knows stuff in the outdoors and all that. So I was walking like, oh my gosh, it looks like he's just out you know unprotected but no we probably have the coolest spot in the place so i'm excited one of our favorite food trucks is out here um max cajun shack and uh great like different kinds of crawfish type of stuff crab legs he has a crawfish pot pie that is to die for and even though it's a million degrees out here i might get up on me some pot pie because it's so good so i want to head over there before the line is too long yeah. You have any idea what you're going to eat? No, I don't know. You got to go check his menu. I talked to him earlier today. I'm not sure. Got to see what, what do you got cooking up today. Is he going to have the Popeyes today? I don't know. I didn't, we didn't talk about the Popeyes. He just gave me a little quick rundown. I don't remember half the stuff he said. He, he, gave, me, check he gave me a quick rundown. See, he ran into him earlier at the tailor. But, you know, he probably just got, you know, he, he went and checked from a Popeyes. It's going to be good, though. Whatever yes. you have. So I'm excited. But anyway, the music is playing. Um, female singer is good so i'm excited so all right y'all we'll check back in with y'all throughout the weekend hope you're making it a great one as well Okay guys, so I don't know how many days it's been since we talked to you. Um, yeah, this vlog is probably going to span about a week. Uh, but we are in traffic now, headed to Arlington. Well, I guess we're in Arlington, but we are headed to um, a mega mixer, which I'm supposed to be chairing, but um, I'm late, which I hate being late and I'm hardly ever late. Um, and I'm sure you could tell by the tone of my voice. <laughs> it's been a day, a second half of the day. And it's funny because I needed to vlog. I need to wrap this vlog up. I needed to talk to y'all. Well, we did. And um, I ain't know what to talk about. And what did you say back? Hey, just tell them about your day. <laughs> the stresses of my day. That's about it. I've been in meetings all day, so my day been going pretty smoothly. Right, and so, okay, so here's something I'm dealing with to kind of talk about the stresses of the day. And this is completely selfish. Um, I don't know if any of y'all can relate, but it's like Wallace just got a new opportunity in corporate, a new position, awesome for him, um, but it's new. He's only been in his position for, what, I guess two months now or whatever. Um, he's working way further from home, has a much longer commute, and um, things are just like a little different. When he was at his old job, first of all, he was at his old company for 17 years. And he had, you know, a vice presidency position. Um, 
and I don't know what to call it, but you were comfortable there. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like his employees, you know, he had been with them for a long time and things kind of ran like a well-oiled machine. He was only like 10 minutes from home and anytime I needed him for something, he could just like drop whatever was going on and he could just be there, you know? And if it was something like an event like today, and I let him know a day or two in advance or more if I could, but it never was a problem. He could just be like, okay, well, I'll just be home and I'll go with you. Well, it's not like that anymore. And it's driving me crazy, especially, and it is, it's selfish because I'm so happy for him and the opportunity. I mean, if he has to stay in corporate for a little while longer, cause our goal is for us both to be full time working our business. But while he's in corporate, of course, I want him to, you know, take advantage of all the opportunities and everything. And I'm so happy for him. And he's much more um, fulfilled at the new position in the new company. But it's an inconvenience for me at times. And, you know, I don't know. As a couple, you go through those things. You know, we're definitely happy for each other and whatever. But then whatever part of it kind of disrupts your norm. Just so, when he came home today, I'm just like, I hate your new job. Why are you so quiet? Because I'm trying to see what this wreck is up front of us before I put these people can hit me. Oh. I guess you're trying to protect our lives. But, um, yeah, so, just kind of feeling that kind of way because I hate when we have to ride separately, take two separate cars, but then I get mad at him if he's not home on time for me to get there on time. And I could have just went by myself, but... I don't want to, so I just liked it when he could just be home on time to go. And so that's how I was feeling today. And then, you know, we have the 20 year old who's leaving in the morning, early in the morning. He needs to be at the airport probably about three o'clock in the morning who waits until today to say, oh yeah, I need to get a COVID test today. And not like this morning, he waits till this afternoon. So then I'm having to try to figure out where I can get him a COVID test. And because he waited till the last minute, I couldn't get him to any of the free COVID testing places. So I had to pay $100 for him to get a COVID test. Then it's like, oh, I gotta go do this. I have to do that. And I just had a frustrating day today. I like your glasses. Well, thank you for liking my glasses. Y'all like my glasses, yeah. We didn't even get to talk about me and my new glasses. Because as soon as he came in the door, we had to leave. And I hate when he comes home from work and I'm immediately. Because it's not the norm for me just to rapid fire off, like whatever. But yeah, he didn't even make it out the garage. And I'm like, are you ready to go? Because we need to get there. And now we're in traffic. So I don't know. How you feeling about how I'm feeling? Some kind of way. I don't know what it's supposed to be. What do you mean some kind of way? You're the one who said for me to talk to the people about this. So I know. I'm just saying. I'm just feeling, I don't know. It's just like one of those things. It's like it's just one of those things that happens. You know, it is what it is. And you just got to deal with them as they come. Yeah, it's fine to be frustrated and whatnot, but, you know, you're just frustrated. It was just a lot because what else happened today? Oh, and so I have another event because this is um, a series of Juneteenth events that I'm chairing. And so I had another event that was planned for Saturday, which was a major event. Um, I had a major celebrity coming into town and um, they ended up not being able to make it um, at the last minute. Very, very good legitimate reason I just I'm not trying to put their business in the street in case anybody knows the event and all that stuff but um you know so that was another thing it's just like just things were happening today and um yeah I don't know I mean I'm human so I'm allowed to feel away but at the same time I'm also like suck it up buttercup you know don't be a brat but um I've only been dealing with it for a couple of hours so I guess I can't really be too hard on myself yeah you gotta feel through it yeah gotta process it all it's just rough and then I think I'm also um, feeling the emotions of my son leaving in the morning because even though he's a pain in the butt I'm so sad that he's leaving getting ready to tear up now um, I have to take him to the airport in the morning by myself um, three o'clock in the morning I know that's gonna be difficult I hate doing the airport drop-offs I rather him just leave and I'm kind of like I just pretend you know, I don't know where he's going or whatever. Just play those little mind games with myself. But when I have to be the one to actually drop him off, that's difficult. Um, 
you know, he's been gone away at school all year and he's only come home for a couple of weeks and now he's going to be gone for the rest of the summer, come home for literally just a couple of days in August and then he'll be going away to school again. And when he goes away, <coughs> he goes away. Like we're in Texas and he is going to Boston for the summer and then he'll be in Illinois for school. So it's just a lot, you know, I'm an empty nester and um you know i've my oldest is 31 so that's all i know too is just having my kids in the house and but that's just part of being a parent and growing you know it is. Where it is. you gotta you gotta allow them to get out the nest and uh, do a couple of things and you know try to help find themselves but you know you feeling you know just feeling kind of some kind of way about him leaving or whatnot that just naturally being a parent and caring about your your child you know that's what especially coming on with you know being a nurturing mother you know that's yeah. just what it is and I definitely don't want to hold them back at all. Because, again, yeah. I guess it's like the same feelings I have about you and your job. I'm happy for you um, and the opportunity. And I don't want to do anything to hinder that or make you feel bad. I just have my selfish moments. Um, and it's the same with Ian. Like, I'm so proud of him and the things that he's doing and the fact that he's not afraid to get out there and explore and try new things and meet new people. But the selfish part of me is just like, I just want him to be home. And then I worry, too, you know, being so far away. So it's just, yeah, I'm going for, through a lot right now. You're going to be fine, though. You and me going to have gonna have fun, and we'll move on, and we're going to do it. Do like today. We're going to go to this event, have a good time. Yeah. And, and we have little, events for the next food, few days. Get a little food, a little grub, and a little food and grub. Ain't that the same thing? Food and grub will <laughs> be the get same thing. Get a little thing. grub and uh, a little libation, and, uh, you know, have a good time. I know, but are you ready for these events for the next several days? <laughs> That's a little different, but you know, yeah, I'm ready. Make it happen. Yeah. Are you excited about Father's Day? Yes, I am. Very excited about it. Always. So that's something else we'll talk about real quick. How are y'all on Father's Day? So what I hear word on the street is that Father's Day kind of gets ignored and people don't do a lot for Father's Day. It's just like a shirt and a tie or some socks or just kind of like, you know, just a random gift and not a big to do or like a lot of fathers are put on the grill to cook for themselves or not cook for themselves but cook for the family you know where people say they do a whole lot of hoopla for mother's day and in our house hold it's not like that like there's no difference in mother's day and father's day like I go all out for him for Father's Day. Make sure, you know, the kids do what they need to do for Father's Day. Um, and the same, you know, for Mother's Day or whatever. But, um, yeah, like, I didn't know that was a thing. But I've been hearing it, you know, for a long time. But I'm just curious. Um, Y'all drop in the comments for me and let me know, you know, how you think about Father's Day. Is it equal to Mother's Day for you all? Or, you know... Do fathers just kind of get ignored? Because even like with Valentine's Day, we're not big Valentine's Day people because it's just super commercial and whatever. But it's not a me day for sure. If we decide to do something for Valentine's Day, we'll do something together, which like I said, we rarely do. This year because we released our book on Valentine's Day because it was a couple's book, um, you know, we kind of went out and more so celebrated the release of the book than valentine's day but most of the time we just kind of chill at the house and you know it is what it is but we are equal opportunity uh husband and wife <laughs> over here like nobody's birthday no holiday or whatever is anyone slighted like the same for our anniversary i hear so many couples you know say well the anniversary's for the women or whatever well we both got married and so it's like yeah, and I, we don't even do gifts. Well, he's gotten me something for anniversary a couple of times, and I get so mad at him because I'm like, we don't do. Because what's the point? We don't need anything. It's whatever. We just celebrate getting married. Like, I don't know, but I definitely don't feel like it's a for me day or whatever. Like, oh, he forgot the anniversary. Like, you know, it's just weird. So I don't know what y'all think about that. But, um, yeah, this is Father's Day weekend, so I'm glad he's excited, and I'm glad, you know, he has reason to be excited because he knows we're going to take care of him. So he doesn't have to be concerned as to whether he's going to be overlooked. But I guess a lot of dads feel like that. And if that's what y'all do, do better. What? You like to no, say just something? Just listen to you. Yeah. So anyway, we're almost here. Um, 
I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do any vlogging at the event or anything. So, um, you know, I might pop on later to let y'all know how it went. I'm not sure. Not sure how long I'm going <laughs> to let this vlog go on because I don't even remember when we started. So, maybe this is just going to be that. What you think, babe? Time for it to be a wrap. Uh, what's the day? Wednesday? Yeah, but Early I think week. we started like Sunday. So I don't know. Yeah, we, we we'll probably pick we back up weekend. on the weekend. So yeah, no. So we can just we'll get the weekend. Huh? Yeah. Just snippets here and there. We'll see. I'm probably. Hey y'all. So here I am back in the car again. Well, today we're in Wallace's SUV. But um, we are headed to the uh, TCC Legends Gala that I am chairing. I told y'all um, yesterday that I have a lot of events this weekend. Wallace was able to make it on time to uh, go with me. Um, so that helped my anxiety a little bit. My makeup, I feel like I look, I don't know, y'all. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I don't know. But anyway, not happy with the makeup, but you know. I'm, I'm new to this whole makeup thing. But anyway, um, so Wallace got home on time, so we're gonna be able to ride together. So that helped me a lot with my anxiety. I really appreciate him for making that effort today and calling me and let me know that he was gonna be able to make it and let me know what the GPS said as far as his exact uh, ETA. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, so we are headed to the gala at the ISIS theater in Fort Worth and I'm excited about it we already left but um, Wallace always has to go back in the house for something and today it was his phone and we were like two blocks away and um, yeah we had to come back would that be a true statement that you always got to go back in the house yeah yeah that'd be that'd be fair yeah he always got to go back in for something we usually don't make it out of the driveway because sometimes he got to go back in a couple of times but today because we were rushing because I want to get there. It starts at 7. I'm trying to get there by 6.30, which probably won't get there by 6.30, but we won't be long after. But, um, yeah, we actually got a couple blocks away, but um, I'm just grateful that he's here and on time. What? Go ahead. Speak, I ain't saying speak your piece. No, you I'm over there cheesing. You got something to say. Uh -uh. No, what? I gotta run back. I do have to run back in the house a couple times. Yeah. Because I choose not to come out with pity things in my hands, but yeah, I do have to run back in See what I mean? Times. So, instead of him just wanting to admit that he be forgetting he gonna say because he don't want to have 50 things in his hand no he gets in gets the seatbelt on and they're like oh oh no it's not a plan that's see it's all about accountability people be it's, accountable. it's me i do i do i'll admit that i i do that mm -hmm. forget forget what i said earlier <laughs> yeah I do that. yeah and i'm not editing it out because i want y'all to see how he tried to tried to uh justify the goings backs ends of things but um anyway so yeah i'm gonna try to vlog um a little bit i will be singing um the anthems tonight so hopefully wallace will pick up the um camera and get a little bit of that um because your girl don't use her pipes too often at events anymore um i love a good karaoke but it's rare but since i was chairing the event and it's all about you know celebrating or I don't even want to say celebrating. I'm going to do a video on this topic on my channel all about the Juneteenth holiday and what exactly we are supposed to be doing with it because celebrating does not seem like the right word. So I want to say memorializing, remembering, recognizing, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about that because I'm interested to see what um, what do people think about um, the Juneteenth holiday and um, you know because even calling it a holiday is odd because it was a very 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 unfortunate sad dark time in our history um, you know so anyway that's a different vlog for a different day but yeah if you haven't already though you, this might be a great time to jump over and subscribe to my solo channel which is Stay Hall at Stay Hall S-T-A-E-H-A-L-L -L, and that's where I kind of take a deeper dive into things like that and you know just my type of concerns but yeah so anything else babe before we log off for the moment no we good right now had to hit y'all back later yes yeah, so I, there will be some footage at the gala and you know we just want to take y'all with us i just encourage things. people to get out and do some stuff what for juneteenth for if you for just anything just get uh, out and just have fun 
Yeah, it's always a good thing to get out and have fun. Yeah, absolutely. And we are going to be getting out and doing a lot we of things. Celebrate the team. I celebrate the team. We're going to talk. But like I said, we'll talk about that later. So we are at the reception. Here is my sister Trevor. Look how beautiful she is. Yes. We are having a great time. Food has been good. Drinks are good. Wonderful turnout. You see hubby back there mixing and mingling. You know, that's what he does. So we are about to get the program started, but it has been an awesome, awesome, awesome event already. So I'm sure it's only going to get better. And you know, I'll pick y'all back up once we get downstairs and get things popping. So hold tight. She's three. All right. So we are headed down for the main event. We got Vince Sims on deck. We got Jim Austin. And we about to do the thing. Yeah. There's the theater back there, y'all. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Whoop. Almost got smashed in the elevator. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light, lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it I would call her because I was on the public health committee and I would just call her and say what do you think about this bill and she'd pick up the phone while she's running the hospital <laughs> because she always made time mm -hmm. to make sure that she took care of other people and, and helped other people so we are just chilling on the patio we had an event that we were supposed to attend tonight, but we decided we needed a little, little bit of a break tonight, and we are just on the patio. Watching some murder mysteries. There's nothing like watching murder mysteries outside. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because murder mysteries may seem like, why would y'all be wanting to watch murder mysteries? But it brings up conversation and we try to figure it out and this is just what we do to relax yep. <laughs> so we are chilling outside just relaxing and enjoying the nice breeze of course y'all already know we jumped in the pool <laughs> and uh just kind of getting our second wind mm -hmm. because tomorrow it's on and popping again and we will be out and about and so it's really important that tomorrow's a full day so a very full day tomorrow sunday yes and monday hopefully it'll be a little relaxing won't be as much but still monday will be a busy day too yeah but it's just important to know when you have to dial back a little bit and just get that time to uh, what do you call it just recharge yeah you know you can't just be go 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 all the time you need to take those moments just to get your mind right and get ready for the next thing so you have to know when enough is enough we need this mental health break this quality time so this is what we do we just sit outside and we chill and um keep a watch out for any critters i've been seeing a lot of TikToks. we don't have as many lights on tonight out here. i know because i feel like we have our back patio area very well lit but i feel like our lighting even though it lets us see everything it also kind of makes us a target because a couple of weeks ago we had a bat 
come and attack me. Everything always attacks me. The bat was like right here on top of my bun, y'all. Yeah. And my husband. I think it was a little higher than that. Probably about No, it was on my bun. 15 feet higher than your bun. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was a whole bat on my bun. So, um, yeah, but it's just important. Trying to make a nest up there? It was, oh. Is that what was happening? So my bun looks like a nest? No, I'm just asking. Was that what it was? <laughs> but yeah, it's like when you are in business and you're networking working you're trying to build your business you feel like you have to always be on go 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 you have to go to every event everything you're invited to but that's not true you have to know when to say enough is enough and today I just need some time for me for us so that's what we're doing tonight so we will pick y'all back up tomorrow for whatever festivities and this is going to be a super long vlog because we have taken you guys through a whole week. This vlog will end up being from Sunday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, we're just doing a full week for, for what we deal with on a full week. Yeah, absolutely. So well, we enjoy it though, but like I say, just sometimes you gotta take a break and you know, just like a little little break in between as you kind of roll on to finish out strong. Yeah, because knowing when to say no is very important. You don't want to burn out. So, we're not gonna burn out. We are going to listen to our bodies, listen to our minds, listen to each other, and know when to say no. So we said no tonight, and we are just chilling, 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 watching murder mystery. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>
I like long vlogs when I'm watching them, you know, kind of bouncing back and forth from day to day and place to place. So since this one kind of took off and really didn't have a clear ending point and we just decided to go and go, we are going to make this a long vlog and just see how that works. Just trying new things, see if you guys um, like sitting with us for an hour or so. So let us know that in the comments as well, what you think about the long vlog or, you know, if you just prefer the little 25 minute one. But we're going to try something new. But anyway, I'll see y'all in a bit. Hey. So we finally made it back from Sam's. And the thing is, I know I told y'all that we weren't going in Sam's, but we did go in Sam's. But my camera died. And um, we went in Sam's just to get some wings so we wouldn't have to make a separate trip and stop at Walmart since we were already there and our order wasn't ready yet. But we ended up getting a whole separate order. So we're putting our stuff away now. And we got a lot of stuff. So, as y'all know, y'all hear about my pool all the time. I got the baby some little floaties. I got a unicorn one for Yara and a dinosaur one for Blair. Blair loves dinosaurs. Yara likes unicorns, so that's cool. And we got our normal almond milk and just stuff. I got these little... What is it like artisan cheese, but it's like wrapped in prosciutto and pepperoni and what is that, babe? Soprasada. You ever ate soprasada? Mm-hmm. So yeah, thought that would be nice you know, for a little you. snack. And y'all, if you have never tried it, the Sam's Club chicken salad is the bomb. Now, not the chicken salad over by their deli area with the um, you know fresh cooked or whatever, because I don't really like that when they make that one with the rotisserie chicken, but this one is just in a refrigerator section. So yeah, we're just getting stuff put away. Um, got a little fruit and cheese tray. So babe, you wanna just help me put the stuff away? And then we can clean that up, I guess. And it makes a flower arrangement. Sam's Club has beautiful flowers. So I got these, and then my color right here, and then a the little, greenery so i'm just gonna make my own little flower arrangements but these are just so reasonable and the flowers are always so nice and fresh um we got this white cheese dip we tried it it's awesome so we're gonna try some of this it was really really good and um sam's club has some new tortilla chips that we're gonna try their flavored tortilla chips so yeah we're just gonna chill out we got the stuff ready for the weekend and just gonna chill and not do a whole lot, but we are going to probably eat a whole lot. So I'm excited about that. So we are going to get these groceries put away and straighten up. And um, yeah, I don't know when we're gonna see y'all again, but it'll be later today. So let's get this done. Y'all know I hate cleaning up. But that's what we gotta do. And I hate putting away groceries. I like shopping, but I don't like putting stuff away. But that's the same like with laundry. I like doing laundry and separating the clothes and washing the clothes and folding the clothes, but I hate putting them away. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And let me get while the getting's good because Wallace is over there cleaning out the refrigerator, so that's a good thing. Y'all, I forgot to show you the shrimp. <laughs> I'm excited to make a shrimp cocktail. Sam's Club, I think these were what? 19 bucks, but that's a lot of shrimp. Big, juicy shrimp already peeled. The bang, got your cocktail sauce. I'm excited. I'm a foodie. I like to eat. So we are on the elevator here at the Isis Theater again for our final event for Juneteenth, the play, finally free at last, expecting great things, got my sister Shavar again, so we are headed to our seats and I'll give y'all a little tidbit. Right. 
doing all this work mm -hmm. while Master and his folks walk around without a curve in the world. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, great God! So we are leaving the ISIS theater. The play was good. What you think about the play, babe? The play was good. It was really yeah, good. Very it. some awesome local talent. I love yeah. that. Y'all see my thing, my sister put in the middle of my forehead, um, Trevor, and I can't remember what it's called, but um, this is what she does every day. So she wanted me to be a part of her middle of the forehead jewel crew. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing today. But now we are headed to Sundance Square, right? Uh huh. For the Freddie Jackson concert and fingerprints or fingertips, I can't remember. Prints. So, <laughs> but fingertips is a name or a group too, right? Ah, uh, okay. I think so. I think it's a song. I don't remember. But anyway, we're gonna have a great day. Tell the people about your Father's Day morning and how Father's things went down. Day been great, man. Got to rest in this morning. Got a lot of tons of birthday text. I mean, not birthday. <laughs> Father's Day text from. My kids, my guy kids, some of the kids I've coached through the years. It's been a wonderful day. Babe took care of me this morning, breakfast in bed, some beautiful gifts. So it's been a good day. It has. Oh, okay. We're going down here in the cut in the alleyway. Oh, we're in the back of the theater, huh? Mm hmm So, yeah, so we're having a great day, y'all. You know, I'll jump back on, let y'all see a little bit of the Freddie Jackson going on of things. But yeah, we are having a beautiful day. Here in Fort Worth, Stockyards, Isis Theater. So, y'all stay tuned. And I'll see y'all over on the other side. Enjoy tonight. Miss Opal Lee, take us away like you always do, girl. You look gorgeous. Don't you look gorgeous, Clay? Young people, and you're all young people if you're not 95. I'm delighted to see you all. And yesterday, I did my two and a half miles and not a step more. And next Juneteenth, I'll do the extra mile. Say hello to Miss Juneteenth. Yeah. It's your beauty going to Spelman College. Yeah. Why do you keep touching the camera? I don't know. <laughs> See, that's how he do me. Did y'all hear? See, he didn't know it was already rolling. But what he says to me is why you keep touching the camera. See, y'all heard the abuse. I'm constantly coaching her about angles and how to position the camera. But she's like, she always got to point it way off for some reason. I don't really understand. Whatever. Well, we have made it here to Sundance Square. Great seats. Weather's still a little hot. But like I say, this is the type of stuff we talk about looking for. Just free. Get out here and enjoy Mr. Freddie Jackson. It's going to be wonderful. Their fingerprints. Yes. He gives an awesome concert, and fingerprints is good too, so I'm excited. Um, I thought it would be jam-packed, so we got down here early. Yeah, I think the heat really um, played a, a part in that. I think it's it's kind of, as it cools off, I'm starting to see more people come up, and yeah. it's getting closer to showtime because it actually kicks off at 6 o'clock. So. Yeah, but it worked in our favor because we got excellent seats in the shade. Didn't have to worry about, you know, bringing out our chairs and umbrellas and all that because... Uh, it was ready, set, go. All we had to do is sit down, and we are up front, so I'm excited about that. They're doing the sound checks and everything now, so, um, but it's great. And they have the clock on the building. What building is that, babe? Do you know? No, I don't even remember what building that is. But they have the clock. Um, I'll, I'll insert it in the video, but they have the clock set to Miss Opal Lee's face, so it is so, so beautiful and just, um, you know. Chilling out, relaxing, enjoying our Sunday afternoon for Father's Day. So it's been a great day. An awesome play. Hey, 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 yeah. See rocking them glasses, looking beautiful. Yes. yes. Oh. Well, you look lovely. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> okay, so as y'all can see, we run into a couple of friends. So, uh, you know, we had to break real quick because they didn't realize we was vlogging. But that's cool. It's always nice to have a little cameo. But, um, yeah, more people are coming out. It's getting cooler. The sun is going down because what, babe? One, two, two. <laughs> Late in the evening. <laughs> Come on, Fourth One. Put your hands together like this.
somebody scream. Give me some more on these things here. Give me some more. Give me some more. Give Okay guys, so it is Monday and we have had a busy, busy, busy week. Not just weekend, but we ended it where y'all already know. In my post. <laughs> had some fun. What do we do today? Nothing. Nothing. Just relax and uh, took it easy. Had some good food and yeah, just chilled out. Listen Finally to got, some a jazz. got around to celebrating that uh, Juneteenth where it's supposed to be done. Uh, <laughs> barbecue, red soda. Didn't get the watermelon though. We got everything else and uh but we had a private Juneteenth <laughs> celebration. We did not Juneteenth it with mixed company. We did not Juneteenth it with the masses. Yeah, we didn't party today. We party. We we were crowds um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, and so, Sunday. Yeah, it was time just to have some solo dolo time. So, guys, it's been so much fun. I hope you enjoyed sharing this week with us. Like I said earlier, drop it in the comments. Let us know if you like these long vlogs or what you'd like to see, and just let us know what a regular week looks for you and if you think our weeks look crazy but um we appreciate you so be sure before you leave if you haven't already hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up like it if you liked it don't be scared i ain't gonna tell nobody <laughs> share do all the things because we just want you to be a part of this hallway the hallway hallway journey so we thank you so much love you guys to bits and pieces love you y'all have a good one have a good week. Be intentional. Do it on purpose.